Well, Mark, they say payday is play day, but for most of us, it really just means putting gas in the tank. It might mean going out and buying your kids a brand new winter jacket or just paying bills. Well, for one Indianapolis man, he can't do any of that because his paycheck still hasn't come. But the only thing they can say for us is we're sorry for the inconvenience. And that's not paying the bills. Rico Vaughn uses a company called Metabank for his direct deposit at work. We usually get our money two days before payday, which is a big convenience. Vaughn says that means he was supposed to be paid Friday. That didn't happen, so he waited until Monday. Still nothing, and by Tuesday, he still hasn't been paid. Metabank is making us dig deeper in our pockets for something they, they mess up. He uses his card for auto bill pay. Those charges are being declined, and now he's getting fees. How many of those fees have you started to pile up now here with us? We got two. I reached out to Metabank to find out what's happening. This is their statement in part. Meta is confirming that their processing partner, FIS, is experiencing an issue. So I reached out to FIS. In a statement, they say, FIS can confirm that it is experiencing an issue with an ACH application that is impacting the ability of a small number of our clients to service their customers. We are working to remediate the issue as quickly as possible and return the operations to business as usual operations. Neither FIS or Metabank would say when the issue will be fixed, how many customers are affected, and if customers will be reimbursed for late fees or loans they have to take out. We shouldn't have to be scraping and asking people for nothing that we work hard for. Vaughn and his wife are forced to take out high interest loans to get by. We got to buy coats for our kids. Our kids need coats because it's cold. Now he's just hoping for a fast resolution and for his paycheck to be released so he can take care of his family. And they just like holding our money hostage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just doing what they want to do. Vaughn says he is considering a lawsuit against the companies responsible for hanging on to his paycheck. We'll continue pressing those companies for answers to figure out how this happened. Now, if you're having problems with Medibank, head over to the RTV6 app. Click on the link for this story. We've included a link with customer contact information for Medibank over there. Reporting live from downtown Indianapolis, Graham Hunter, RTV6.